All right, today I'm going to show you how to build a very quick table of contents for your Google Sheet with a title and a link to that tab. This allows you to quickly find and get to different tabs, especially if you have a lot more tabs in your project. So this is using a custom function. And so if we open up this over here, you can see I have a formula that pulls in the tab name. And then this is the tab ID, which is this part at the end. And so this allows us to make this link to get to that tab. So this is a very quick script. I'm going to walk you through it. Um, I'm actually going to walk you through building this from scratch so you can duplicate this in your own project. So let's go ahead and open up our app script. I'm going to show you how this is built. And so you can see the very quick script. And so I'm just going to basically duplicate it here and just show you how this works. So we're going to call this TOC2. And then as we walk through it, Let's start with, we need to get our spreadsheet. So I use this let ss equals spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. And so that basically gets us to here since these are two different entities. Now to get all the tabs or sheets, I'm going to use this let sheets equals ss and we're going to use this method get sheets. And this is going to get all the tabs for our Google Sheet. And then I'm going to iterate through these and push in the data I need, which is the name of the sheet and that ID. And so I'm going to end up putting it in an array. And so I'm just going to set this array up front and I'm just setting it as an empty array for now. And then we're going to fill it. So now we just need to iterate through and it'll run through all of our tabs and we'll add them to our array. So I'm just using a simple for loop starting with zero, um, because arrays start with zero. So if we have first result, second result, this would be tab zero, is what this will be. So it starts at zero and goes from there. So that's why I'm starting i equals zero, and i is just what I'm using to keep track. I'm gonna actually add that, i is less than. I'm using this I to keep track of where I am. So we'll go ahead and get the name. And so sheets I, and so this is wherever we're at. And I'm going to do this get name method. And that's going to give us the name of the tab. So as this process through, it's going to come up chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. It's also going to do TOC, um, which is what I'm naming our table contents. And so I don't want that in this table of contents, but like a self-reference. And that's why in here, I say if name is not equal to, and that's what that exclamation point and equals means does not equal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. So if name does not equal TOC, and so you can change this TOC if you wanna name yours table of contents or whatever you wanna name your tab there. Um, you could also add more if you had other ones, maybe a helper tab or something. You could say, and name is not equal to helper or settings or whatever. And so to add more conditions, just use this double ampersand, and then you can add that other condition there. So you could do as many as you need to, and name not equals to settings, etc. So we're just going to do TLC for today. And then we're going to use this push method to add something to our tabs. So let me clear out my samples here. So I'm going to do tabs.push. And so this is going to uh, push something to our tabs array. And I'm going to put it within brackets because I want each result to come up as a new row. And so each row I'm going to do, I'm going to do the name and sheet ID. And then the next row will be name two, sheet two ID, and so forth. And so each one of these is going to be a new row when it comes back to here. So this is row one, row two, row three, et cetera. Um, and so this would show up in that first row. All right. So we're just going to grab that name. And then um, we're going to go back to our current iteration. And so again, this is going to start at zero and it's going to go, I is going to increment by one. That's what that plus plus does. 
until we reach the length of the number of tabs. And so here what I'm going to do is get sheet ID. And that sheet ID is this part at the end of this. And this is what we need. This is what we're creating uh, that link from. So I'll show you that here in a second. So now we got it all put together. Let me get rid of those extra spaces. At the end, we just want to do this um, called return. And so return means this is going to send this data back to where we're calling it. So let's go back here. We can now change this. Let me make sure I got it saved. Save our script. And then we'll go back here. And let's get rid of that just for now. And let's just use our new method, which was TOC2. And there we go. So it works just like the first one. So if you notice why I deleted it, I had a reference to this cell. And here's the reason why. So let me just show you real quick. Let's create a new tab here. I'm sorry, I need to do duplicate, not rename. Duplicate, call this chapter 5. We'll go ahead and update that just for good measure. So we go back here. We can see this hasn't refreshed yet. Uh, and the reason because custom functions, Google likes to conserve the processing space. So it hasn't refreshed. So what we can do, this is what I'm using this checkbox for, is I'm just going to put a reference to this checkbox inside this custom function formula. And so you can see now that updated and brought in that chapter five. So now let's go ahead and make one more. Chapter six. Go ahead and change that just for good measure. Go back here. So again, it hasn't updated, right? But if I check now this update box, it's going to trigger to refresh. So that's all we need to do there. And so let me show you the fat. The last thing here is my formula. So this is what the um, custom function is bringing back. And this formula is what I'm making. So let's go ahead and just make this new tab from scratch real quick. So let's call this TLC2. Um, we'll call, I'll actually call this old for now. We'll, we'll delete that in a second once we get this built. But I'm just going to show you how to build this from scratch just really quick. Some of you guys like to know how to build um, just simple, good-looking sheets like this. So let me just show you here. We'll just pick it a color. I like this one. And do the same thing for here. And then let's resize this column. Go about 20 maybe. And then resize this one. Let's do 30. Might be a little different. I think I did a little wider there, but we'll call that good. And then we're going to G. And so I'm going to go after G, just select these and delete those columns. And then I'll go somewhere down here, scroll down, I'm going to hold shift, select all these and delete those rows. Now I'm just going to finish up my outside border highlighting here, just like that. Resize this to 20, resize this to 30. And then what we can do here is table of contents. Let's add a check mark. So maybe what we'll do here is we'll actually do this uh, at our checkbox here. Make it a little smaller and then do refresh or update. You can call it either one you want. Um, do update TOC maybe that makes more sense and then let's make this like that I'll take this font here go a little bigger bold it center it and we're almost there so I'm gonna resize this row and then let's finish up here so let's get our um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this tab now uh, we don't need it anymore let me just make this border around here. So I'm going to select our black color, double width, and then just on the outer border. Let's go ahead and get rid of the grid lines. So view show grid lines, and now it's looking a lot cleaner. So let's go ahead and just put in our formula here. Uh, we can use either TOC or TOC2, the one we just built. And then that will load here. So let me add one more row here, get rid of this, and resize this to maybe 15. Just try to make it look nice and clean here. 
can make these a little narrower, this a little wider. All right, so in the end, we're going to hide these like this. Uh, but before we do, let's just make that a little lighter. We need to come up with this formula to show the link, because right now this doesn't have anything clickable. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to start out with an if statement, because I don't want to have this uh, have an error down below. I'm going to leave it open so it's still there. So we're going to say if this equals to blank, that's what this means. So there's nothing in that cell. Then I'm just going to do double comma. And that means if it is blank, it's going to do this, which is nothing. Otherwise, we want to make our hyperlink formula. So our hyperlink formula is the URL and then the link label. And so the URL is going to be GID equals, and I do this ampersand to add this. And then for the name, I'm just going to check E7. And then close that out. And there we go. And so there's my link to chapter one. So if I just drag this down now, it applies to all these. So if I go to chapter six, bam, I'm right there at chapter six. And so if you want to add more, maybe you have more than this, uh, this number of tabs, all you'd have to do is just insert, insert more cells and then just make sure that you grab one of these cells that has a formula in it. So you can just start from the top if you like and then just drag it down all the way. And so if you have, for example, um, it comes in like this and you're missing one, just make sure you drag that down and I'll grab all of those. So now I can just hide these and maybe make this a little smaller just so it can show. And there we go. So now if we add one more chapter, not 76, we'll do seven, change this to seven. And then if we click update TOC, oh, I forgot to do one last thing. There we go. TOC, let's put that, that is C5 reference right there. And there we go. Now we have chapter seven. So we're good, all good to go. Let me just do one more, just so you can know for sure that we got this correct. Chapter eight, chapter eight. Let's go back here. And then this time, if you notice, I'm just gonna uncheck this. So either, either checking or unchecking updates it. And there we go, chapter eight, chapter eight. All right, that's it for today on this video on how to add a table of contents to your Google Sheets so you can quickly and easily get to all your tabs. That's it for today. Thanks very much, folks.